Hi guys, this is Nilendu here again. Today I'm going to teach you a very simple tutorial which will help you to return XML data from REST service. So I'm using Jersey REST service and in the previous tutorial we saw how to return a string from REST service. So now in this tutorial we will see how to return a XML from REST service. So let's get started. So I have a book class which is nothing but a simple POJO class with two variables, uh, instance variables name and serial number and some getters and setters and a constructor. And we have web.xml which was used in previous tutorial as well. So now we will start the class. So it's a new class and let's call it uh, rest xml service so this class will have a path let's import that path this path will say slash get xml okay now we will create a method which will process the request so it's a public uh, we are going to return the book as xml so it's a public book get book as xml you can name it like anything what you want now we'll say other it context and we will say http headers and a variable called http headers and that's all so let's import http headers now now we'll have something called produces one annotation which tells what kind of data will be produced by this method so let's import it Again, everything is javax.ws.rs as you can see. So we will say media type dot application underscore XML. Okay. And this will be a get request. We'll say get. Again, we will import it. okay now let's write the body of the method as a book book one equals new book we have to give a constructor so this is a constructor which takes a name and a serial number so let's give a name so we'll call it like head first java and a serial number of one. Now we'll return the book object, but before that, let's import it. So that's done. Then we'll just say return book one. That's all. So it's so simple. Only thing which remains is since this class will be returned as XML, so we have to give a annotation of XML root element. Is, this is so simple so we will save this class and uh, we'll compile it compile the project okay so now we'll start the server So it should be deployed now. Now we'll just try to access. So our URL is slash get XML. So we'll go to Postman and uh, we'll just put it in the URL and just send it. Sorry, we got two slashes. So so that's all we have uh, in this tutorial, which shows like how to access the XML data from a REST survey.
so thanks guys for watching this and hopefully you like this so please like my video and subscribe to my channel and in the next video we will see how to return a json data thanks and see you then bye